And welcome back to Red Dead Online. We're actually playing on our new character on the PC. And today I figured we'd go over the best way to make money and XP to get leveled up. So that way you can get all the things that you... There's a lot of dead bodies around here. So that way you can get all the things that you desire in Red Dead Online in a quick and timely fashion. Now I do have to comment on some stuff with the PC version and Red Dead Online. <laughs> it is really good. I gotta say, probably this game shines in the on... Oh, that gear got jacked up. I ruined it. My bad. Uh, but it definitely shines in Red Dead Online due to the fact that the game actually functions on the PC the way it's supposed to. Camps work perfectly. The animals are spawning in abundance. It's significantly easier to play the trader role in Red Dead Online on PC. Uh, so that is a major benefit, despite the fact that there's a lot of issues on the PC side where a lot of people can't even play. Um, but I will have some content for that as well as PC settings and benchmarks and things like that. So keep an eye out on the channel. Uh, but we're actually headed to Madame Nazar. Now, usually she'll show up on your map if you haven't actually become a collector yet. And if you only have a little bit of gold or you want to pick up a job, I highly recommend Madame Nazar being your Hello, first stranger. choice you because you can make the, uh, so much money for a deal. that you'll really you never hurt for money in this me. game Nothing ever. Nothing but false prophecies and fake jewelry. Go away, or I see much pain and suffering in your future. <laughs> a crook and a charlatan. Uh, make sure you know what you're getting into with this one. Hey, please don't listen to him. I am Madame Nassar, channeler of spirits, finder of lost things, and, since everyone seems to be a fortune teller now, seller of the strange and exotic. Mm, which one of these can I help you with today? Wait, don't speak. Let me see. Mm, yes, yes. You're searching for something. What the... A dead lover, whose spirit you wish to contact on the other side? No, definitely no, no. not. It, it's not that. It's Looking for not money. something you've lost, but something or wife. you're missing. Yes. Purpose. Some meaning in the chaos of this life. Well, you see, that is something I can help you with. Come to work for me. I say I find things, but really, it is others who do the finding. I tell them what I'm looking for, and they collect it for me from far and wide. Sometimes with ease, and sometimes through great hardship. It is work that can be as honest or dishonest as you want it to be. Hmm. How about it? Do you want to be one of my collectors? I make sure they are rewarded quite handsomely. A small fee is really the least I should ask for giving you what you're looking for and setting you up with everything you need to get started. There are more tools you may want from me in due course, but first, you will need to prove yourself. If you don't want to start now, you can find me again, and the offer will still be there. Oh, we're, oh it's for free! Pay? Hell yeah, definitely Excellent. doing it. Excellent. One moment. I have something I think you'll find very interesting. Here is a list of things that I need and a map that will set you on your way to finding them. It is amazing what you will discover now that you are paying attention. Now with Madame Nazar, we're going to be able to get a ton of XP and a ton of money. And what I'm going to do is don't buy maps from Madame Nazar. I'm going to give you locations for quick routes to be able to collect a bunch of different things. And the goal is to get to level 5. And once we're level 5, we can buy something that is the best item in the game. Well, we're gonna need to buy the shovel, so we're gonna need $350 for the shovel, and then we're gonna need the metal detector, which is $700. So we're gonna need a total of $1,000 before we can get both of these, or you can buy them with 14 gold, um, which if you haven't spent any money, that's gonna be amazing. You're definitely gonna you need the shovel. shovel. So I'm gonna pick this oh, bad boy up, I think right now, because I know I'm gonna need it. 
And then we're going to want that metal detector. And once we get level 5 and the metal detector, we're going to be able to make so much money and so much XP that you're really just going to... You're going to fall in love with the collector. That's, that's all there is to it. Now, one of my favorite items to collect for the collector to level up quickly and make some money, uh, before getting the metal detector, that is, is the alcohol bottles. You can also get the tarot cards and stuff like that, um, but you don't need to get a ton of the alcohol bottles to make a lot of money. And the first one we're getting is here near Lake Don Julio, and it's going to be inside of this little wagon right in front of us. And if you do happen to have a metal detector, there is actually a ring you can get right near here, too. Um, but basically, to level up the collector, all you really need to do is just obviously collect things. Collect every little thing you can. You'll get between 100 and a, uh, 200 XP per item that you collect. And then when you get a whole collection, and I want to prep, make sure you know this, do not sell any of your collector's items outside of a collection. It is not worth it. Make sure to save all of your items and sell them as a collection, and you'll get a, an extra XP bonus, pretty much an entire level for every collection that you turn in. Now, I'm also going to post all of the locations right now for these alcohol bottles, and there's a few other sets of items that you'll want to collect throughout this time before level 5 as well. Now, this here is a map of all the locations that you're going to want to go to for day one for alcohol bottles and bird eggs. Now, if you collect all of these items, you'll be able to make just over $340. And you can collect all of these very, very quickly. And you'll get about two levels just from just from selling these. And you'll probably get to level five after collecting these, especially if you're collecting things along the way. Uh, so feel free to mark all of these on your map and get them uh, at your own accord. Uh, but this will get you a full set of both the alcohol bottles and and the bird eggs for day one, which is today, the day of this release of this video, until 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Then it'll go to day two, and then day three, and then back to day one. Now, if you're watching this video on day two, here are all the locations for the alcohol bottles and bird eggs on day two. And finally, if you're watching this on day three, here are all the day three locations for the alcohol bottles and bird eggs. You basically you'll get this each day, um, but once you're level five, I don't really recommend collecting these again unless you need them for one of the Madame Nazar collections. Once we get the metal detector, then we're gonna start getting the good stuff, which is the coins, and you'll be able to make so much money XP and just everything that you need with that metal detector. It's ridiculous. Now, one thing I want to point out with these eggs, while you're going through, you might find some, like, up on a pole or in a tree. And to get these down, you need to make sure to use a varmint rifle or a small game arrow. If you use anything larger than that, you're going to destroy the eggs. But as long as you're using a small caliber something, all you got to do is shoot the nest and that egg will come out and you'll be able to pick it up without destroying it. This is actually one of the eagle eggs. Uh, most of these eggs you'll actually get multiple of, except for the really rare ones like the eagle egg. And I believe the, um, the vulture egg is also one. And then you've got the hawk egg, which is gonna be one as well. Uh, but the rest you should get multiples of. I was recording this late last night and Madame Nazar has already moved, but if you were looking for locations for Madame Nazar, all you need to do is Google Madame Nazar Facebook, and she's got a Facebook page and they post every day the location. Uh, but right now for today, which is uh, November 7th, um, she is right here just south of Valentine. Uh, so you can go here, but I just wanted to go here real quick, and um, you can actually send your, your full collections in the mail, and you don't even need to find her. But I just wanted to show you, we get $160.50 for selling this, and then I want to show off how much XP we actually get. So let's go ahead and turn this bad boy in now. So 1,500 collector XP for that, them. which is a phenomenal. And we got a letter, or a level, rather, $160.50. It's just a really, really great way to not only level up your character, we got up to rank 11. We started this video at rank 7, and only had to collect things for, I think, about an hour, and we got already to rank 11 and collector rank 4, which is not bad. So now we just need to get one more level. Unfortunately, the eggs, uh, one of the egg spawns is broken. It stays in the tree when you try and shoot it down. I would have been able to get level 5 with the egg collection, um... But I can't get the egg because it's stuck in the tree. So if you encounter that particular egg, I believe it's the egret egg in the bayou. 
it's stuck in the tree. I've tried. I've gone to like seven different servers. I can't get it out of the tree. So if you encounter that one, I'm sorry, but the eggs would be really good to collect. You can collect cards and stuff like that. So I'm just going to wander around and get some cards here. And we're going to get to level so I got to level 5 and finally got our handy dandy um, uh, metal detector here and the amount of XP and money that you get. So you get 100 XP for the collector and for the just your character just for digging the hole. And then you make money for the item that you find. And this is the coins. So we get 200 XP for every coin that we find and the coins ladies and gentlemen those are the ones that we want the coins sell for our 540 dollars for 15 they are the most lucrative set in red dead online for the collector role and this is honestly the only one that i really recommend going out and making sure to get every day but there are a few other things that you can get alongside of them which is something like i recommend if you're going to be digging stuff up with the metal detector i would i would collect the coin and like the rings or necklaces or earrings at the same time because they're usually pretty close by and i'm gonna put up all the locations um for these right now so you guys can mark them on your maps i'll put up all three days worth of maps just like i did earlier and you can collect them and make a ton of money and XP and just get leveled up. So also, this is so beautiful. I got to say, Red Dead Online for the PC is where the PC version really shines. It's just the game looks so much more pretty online. I didn't realize how downgraded the console versions were online until getting onto the PC and going back and forth. It's astounding. So here are all of your day 1 locations for the coins, earrings, and necklaces and um earrings basically all of the jewelry these are going to be the most lucrative items that you can get in red dead online using the metal detector now some of these you might not actually need the metal detector for but to get full sets you will so you can uh pull this up and collect all of these so this is for day one now here are all of those items for day two relatively straightforward and they kind of stay around where each other are and you'll start memorizing all of this stuff too uh, the more that you collect it but if you collect all four of these sets you'll get around two thousand dollars and if you create a route which i've done in videos previously so you guys can check those out if you so desire for a proper route then um you can do this very very quickly now here's day three. Now keep in mind that these locations will cycle through the three days, but it won't always be in order. Sometimes it'll go from like day one to day three, which actually happened in this cycle. Sometimes it'll go to day two, but more often than not, it goes like one, two, three, but sometimes it does change it up. Um, now you can tell what day it is, obviously, by going to a location, and if it's not there, then you know it's a different day. And you'll really start recognizing what day it is when you log on, because you'll see things that always pop up on a certain day, and you'll be like, oh, it's day one. Um, but here are all the locations, and make some money. Now, when you're focusing on just leveling up and getting XP and money and stuff like that, uh, then what you want to do with this metal detector is always have it out, because as you are running around, you're going to start seeing this light up and it's going to vibrate your controller and it's going to tell you that treasure is nearby. Now, as you get closer to that treasure, it's going to get faster and faster and faster and faster. And it'll tell you pretty much instantly when you're going the wrong way because it'll start slowing down almost immediately. Uh, so you just follow this as it goes faster and you'll be able to get your treasure pretty darn quickly. See, as we go over here, it's getting slower, which means it's going over this way. And as we approach the right direction, it's going to get faster, faster, faster. And we're going to be able to find our treasure. But this really is the key to leveling up quickly with the collector. You're going to make a lot of money by a lot of money and XP by getting the full sets. But if you're getting these onesies and twosies along the way while you're going to the full set locations, you're going to make a ton of extra money and extra XP because you're going to get money each time digging up the stuff. You're going to get money and or XP for getting it. And eventually you'll get an extra full set because some of these are just kind of randomly strewn throughout the uh, um, throughout the game and they don't always have like a set location there's always a set location for every single singular item in the game each day to get every single collection each day if you really really want to but then there's also bonus items throughout that are just kind of randomized each day and you can make you can get extra collections that way so just keep that in mind always keep your metal detector out when you're trying to level and just make some extra money <laughs> 
so since we started this video, we've gone uh, from level 12 to level 21. Uh, we just hit level 15 collector, and we're about to hit, like, probably 16 or 17 once I sell the stuff that we've gotten. And I've done about maybe three, three and a half hours worth of collecting. And um, right now we got $115, but I've spent quite a bit already on weapons and other things. But right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sell some of the collections that I got. Unfortunately, the final coin that I needed to complete my coin collection uh, glitched out. So I collected it, but it didn't actually count in my collection. So we're going to trade in both of these, and we're probably going to get a level or two for the necklace and the eggs. I finally was able to finish my egg collection. And uh, we got 1,500 for each of those collections, so a total of 3,000 XP for turning into things. We did get a level. Oh, we got the valuable satchel. Very nice. And we're starting to roll in dough now. We got $632 already and rank 22. And then we probably hit level 16 or 17 on the collector, which is pretty darn awesome for a very short amount of time. Uh, you really, really just can't get better than using the collector to level up. It's kind of ridiculous. And, um, it's my favorite way right now to make money and level up. Obviously, the trader is pretty darn good as well. But it's more of like a passive income, so you kind of level up the trader while you're doing the collector, and you'll just make tons of money. You'll level up quickly. And it'll be fan diddly tastic. Now, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Hopefully, all these locations will help you make all the money that you could possibly need. And I'm really loving playing online on the PC version. It's it's so much better than um, playing on the consoles. Obviously, I'll still be playing on the PS4, uh, but it's just really nice seeing everything working. The camps working, the animals working. Um, the shooting is a lot more smooth, not being at like 20 FPS. But regardless. There is still a lot of issues on the PC, so hopefully those do get resolved. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to slap that like button. I'll see you all in the next one.